Hi, everyone. So I'm going to talk about the Beaver Project. So uh, originally, this talk is actually like uh, regarding like uh, digital advertising, ad tech, and ad fraud. But uh, I, uh, that's what I'm going to present later in the conference. But uh, I took a subset of that, and and I focused on fake traffic. So I think you'll uh, you'll kind of like that better. So let me go through it now. Like, a, so what inspired me to do this talk? So there are two things that actually inspired me to do this talk. First is my job, and my job is to look at ads and determine whether the people who are looking at those ads are actually human or if they are bots. So why is this even important? So the idea is, well, bots cannot buy products. So that's why we want like human people to be able to like look at ads, right? So, and the second thing that inspired me to do this talk is, well, Justin Bieber and his 37 million Twitter followers. So with 50%, it says here that 53% well, is fake. That's still a lot of followers, right? So, 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 well, I can tweet too. I do Twitter too. So this is my Twitter account. Like four, I made it four years ago for another DEF CON talk. And right now, it's still 21 followers. So... So I'm not doing too well, huh? I have lots of catch up with Justin Bieber. So, so with Justin Bieber as my inspiration, I decided to do the same thing and buy internet traffic myself. So that's where the Bieber project came to fruition. So the, basically the Bieber project is just a network of websites that act as honeypots. So are you guys familiar with honeypots? So honeypots are basically like tools that record information uh, and for, uh, basically record information for analysis. So what I did was I purposely pointed bad traffic to those, to the multitude of Justin Bieber blogs I made. So bad traffic goes to the, to the blog, it records it, and I saved it for analysis at a latter time. So how do you actually record like these views and stuff? So you do it, you can do it by JavaScript. And you can do it like using other server-side script as well. JavaScript, a client-side script, and a server-side script, a combination of that. So you can easily like get like a lot of information out of those visits. Then I store the data for analysis as well. So aside from that, aside from the blogs, I also uploaded like some YouTube videos that you see there. Zero, no views. I just did that like a couple of days ago. Then of course my, my Twitter. So, so I might as well use my Twitter stuff for this talk, right? So now the fun part. So, so I've started like buying internet traffic. So one thing though, you can buy all sorts of stuff from the internet, but please be careful guys. Don't do this at home. Don't, use your parents' credit cards to buy internet traffic and stuff like that. So uh, in, at first, I thought it was hard to like look for these, like buy internet traffic in the internet. But actually, it was very easy. And you see like tons of vendors out there. So these are just some of the few vendors that I've seen like, and I've used. And there's actually like marketplaces where these vendors actually uh, advertise and these are some of them like Fiverr, SEO clerks. I found a lot of stuff in SEO clerks and of course not only that you uh, you can buy internet traffic and you can actually buy application specific traffic just like uh, YouTube views, YouTube likes, YouTube subscribers and of course my favorite Twitter followers so look at that 4,000 for a buck so not too bad huh so so did it work so of course it did. I won't be here if it didn't. So so my my blog, my Justin Bieber blog, has like now hundreds of thousands of views for as low as ten bucks. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So how about my YouTube stuff? So in three days, I got fifteen thousand eighty-one views, a hundred eighty likes. Actually now it's about two hundred thirty. It's still growing. Uh, 230 subscribers for 13 bucks. A little bit on the expensive side, I think, but not too shabby for three days. 
then here's the thing, here's my favorite. So remember my 21 followers, right, in Twitter? Now I have 4,309 Twitter followers in, well, Twitter and, well, two tweets. I tried tweeting. I'm not yet to, so used to tweeting. So anyway, what is fake traffic made of? Well, mostly bots. Mostly bots, really. So how do we know? Like, because the clues are really in the views. So that's where you find like what uh, if an impression or a view is a bot or not. So there are a lot of clues. So where do you find these clues? You know, browsers. Browsers leak a lot of information. And it can like leak a ton of information. You can get a lot of information out of it. So for example, in this case, you can look at like plugins, like in some of the bots, you won't see that it has plugins, uh, mime types, screen attributes. Sometimes it won't even show up that it'll show up that it doesn't even have a screen. Like window attributes, it'll show that it has like tiny little viewports. Uh, product identifiers, sometimes there's no product identifiers whatsoever. Uh, navigator attributes, locations, frame rates, browser rendering attributes, user agents, and there's a ton of information that you'll see when you start recording these impressions. And that's where you find whether it is a bot or not. And it's very distinct. You'll, you'll see, you'll, like you'll actually see if it's, if it's a human or not. So as I mentioned, I use JavaScript and a mixture of server-side code. So here are some of the results. But here's the thing. How are these traffic generated? Like, yeah? Well, it is generated by traffic generators. So there's also like a ton of those. What I did was purchase traffic, right? But you can actually purchase the tools that generate traffic. So, so I just took some screenshots of the stuff out there. So I won't be talking about like each and every one. The point, of, the point I'm doing is really just showing that, yeah, there is a lot. Lot of tools, lots of tools. Yes, lots. So, so all of these traffic generators, you can actually like make them click at a certain location, click at, like, uh, uh, at a certain like element in the page and stuff like that. You can set delays. You can set user agents, custom referrers, and proxy support. What your uh, proxy is very important because, like, what's for example, you start generating traffic, and it's only coming from your desktop, your IP address. So that's kind of obvious, right? So you need to use proxies, like different, like IP addresses. So it looks like the traffic going to your site is coming from different locations. So that's the general idea of uh, that thing. Then you can also use like custom stuff. There's a lot of custom stuff out there. And one of the most uh, popular one actually to build internet bots is this called uh, Ubot Studio. And the thing is, Ubot Studio is actually a legit software. It's a great software actually. It's, it's used by webmasters to automate their tasks. But unfortunately with all good things, you can like kind of pervert it to like something bad. So, so a, a lot of like bot authors use this to like uh, automate creation of accounts, like followers, uh, uh, automate the clicking of stuff, like clicking likes and all of that stuff, then just visiting pages. So you can, uh, but honestly, this is an awesome uh, application. It's very easy to use, then uh, very easy to program, so Ubot Studio. And there are other kinds of stuff that generate traffic, not only traffic generators and like a Ubot Studio and stuff. There's also traffic exchanges. This is Chinese, so but you don't need to learn, know Chinese to like uh, use this. It's called Jingling. So it's a traffic exchange. So you know what happens here. So what it does, instead of visiting your website, what Jingling does is when you install it in your computer, you visit other people's websites. So that's kind of weird, right? But as you visit other people's websites, you collect tokens. And the more tokens you have, the more chances other people who have installed Jingling in their computer would visit your site. So traffic exchange, right? You're exchanging traffic, basically. So what's neat with this is you don't need a proxy because the traffic is actually coming from different IP addresses already by its nature. So next, well, 
before I wrap things up, I'd like to go back to my Twitter stuff since I'm a bit obsessed with that Twitter thing. So what I noticed with the Twitter stuff is a majority of my Twitter followers have no tweets. And sometimes if they do have tweets, it's nonsensical. And they have very high following counts. So it's not really like very high quality followers that, uh, that I have. So in any case, let me wrap things up. What is the moral of the story? Can I buy fake traffic like subscribers and followers? Yes, yes, we can do that. They accept credit cards, PayPal, Bitcoins, and stuff. So, and it's relatively cheap, relatively cheap. So does it work? Yes, it does. It does work. You've seen my, you, you've seen my hundreds and thousands of impressions. Uh, I mean, views. You, uh, uh, you've seen my 15,000 uh, views of YouTube like in three days. You've also seen my 4,000 uh, followers in Twitter. So it, yeah, it does work. But hey, can you be friends with your bot followers? Nope. So we can't do that. So. Well, the moral of the story really is, having a few real friends are better than having thousands of bots. So anyway, that ends my talk. Thank you very much.